What really makes Succession so popular? On the surface, it's about a lot of people that most of us can't relate to, right? But to answer that question, we need to take a quick glance back in time and see that these characters in this story have almost universal appeal and qualities. But why? How? Well, it all starts with how the Roys have power over the world around them. And that is, in point of fact, extremely familiar. It's been true about kings, queens, and emperors for centuries, and we love telling stories about all of them. But the truth is, it goes back even farther than that. It goes back to our very earliest mythology and our relationship to faith itself. The Roys are, in fact, a modern retelling of the world's oldest dysfunctional family, the Olympic gods. On the surface, it all makes so much sense. The Roys literally float above everyone else in the world in their New York penthouses and helicopters and private jets. But it goes so much deeper than that because they also control information across the globe. The population at large is responsive to the media empire of Waystar Royco. So like the Greek gods of old, the Roys dictate what is true. And it's a fascinating look at how power today compares to power in the ancient world and in how so many ways it remains completely unchanged. Each individual Roy family member has a lot in common with a specific Greek god as well. In some cases, it's fairly obvious, in others, it may surprise you. Let's start at the top. Logan Roy is clearly Zeus himself, the brutal patriarch with all the consolidated power. He runs everything, rules through fear, punishes everyone, including his own children, without hesitation. Two. One. He maintains order and is a force of oppression. People respect and fear Zeus, just like Logan. And Zeus is married to Hera. And Hera has a lot in common with Marsha, Logan's wife in the series. Hera is the goddess of fertility and marriage, but she's not really a force of positivity. She's strict, intimidating. And while she lurks in Zeus's shadow, her opinions and forcefulness always have impact on the proceedings. Her jealousy over Zeus's affairs are a constant through line in every story. Then, of course, there are the Roy children. Firstborn Connor Roy has the most in common with Hephaestus, the god of fire and blacksmithing. Like Hephaestus, Connor simply doesn't fit in. Hephaestus was cast out for his appearance, but Connor sits on the sidelines due to the fact that he just doesn't hone with the ruthless corporate methods of the other Roys. I think I finally found a job I want to do. Okay, what is it? President of the United States. Both characters bring a degree of shame to the families and are never quite a part of them. Next is Kendall. And Kendall is most like Ares. Ares is of course the god of war, and Kendall is the focal point of the conflict of the series of succession. It really all begins when Kendall declares war on his own father and family by trying to take control of the company in season one. I'm L to the OG, dude be the OG, A and he playing. Ares himself was not widely worshiped outside of Sparta, of course, where he was deeply loved. Siobhan is clearly Athena, goddess of wisdom and strategy. Shiv's intelligent, but moreover committed to the strategic dismemberment of all her foes. She starts off the series on the outside of the business, looking in, managing PR strategies for politicians, which would be the perfect real world job for Athena. But as she becomes interested in taking a major role within her family and their business, her abilities to identify weaknesses and go for the kill become apparent. You're not good enough for me. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Well, let's mm -hmm. see about that. Yeah. Then we come to the youngest Roy, Romulus. Romulus is definitely Dionysus, god of wine. Worshippers in the ancient world cherished Dionysus. He was the life of the party and he taught humans how to make wine. Similarly, Romulus becomes the easiest Roy for so many others to connect to and it becomes second nature for him to secure deals as the show progresses. And as an added element of interest, of course, Romulus is named after one of the founders of Rome, mother being Rhea. Coincidence? Probably not. Fuck you, man. We know that every story has been told before. 
But the true genius is in how people tell and craft a new story by innovating on these familiar archetypes and traits. Succession is masterful in its writing, largely because it ties something so modern and specific in today to themes as old as storytelling itself. These stories are still told and studied because they connect to our core humanity. They tap into ideas of love, anger, jealousy, sadness, and above all else, the need to belong. Succession is, in many ways, our modern mythology, and that's been a huge key to its success.